you definitely did not see this coming. <laughs> Welcome to your September bonus reading. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jack. Um, make sure you hit that like, bookmark, and follow so you can come back to this reading and see how everything transpires for you. Death, okay, big, big ending. Could be with a Scorpio. All right, big transition, leaving something behind, a job, a relationship, a career, so you can pursue something that is in much more in alignment for you. The star is Aquarius energy. Okay, so we've got death and rebirth, and then we've got hope, miracle. So if you're going through or contemplating some really major ending, oh my God, three major arcanas, this is a big deal, babe. You need to bookmark this. Make sure you do that. Sagittarius energy with temperance. Whatever has or is ending for you is leading to something so much better. So, so much better. I'm hearing the sun will come out tomorrow as the sun is starting to peek through my window. The star Aquarius energy. You are meant to shine your light. Maybe start something creative or a new journey in some way. Temperance that you've been waiting to start for a long time. Or this, this transformation, this buildup, this rising of the phoenix within you. I'm also getting like kundalini energy here. Comment resonate if this reading's resonating for you so far. Um, is leading to a lot of abundance, 10 of pentacles. Um, there's some sort of major abundance coming in for you over the second half of September. Um, and it's tied to this transformation, this change or some big ending that you're doing. Look, and the new beginning that you're starting, this leap of faith. Okay, um, this leap of faith, this change, maybe it's a creative venture, maybe you're starting a business or a podcast or something where you shed light on how you have healed from something difficult in your life and how you healed over time. Like this is slow and steady wins the race. Um, there's, there's abundance in this for you, like creating stability and security for yourself. Uh, this type of stability and security... You've never experienced this before. We have Pisces energy here. Um, maybe this is you establishing a new generational standard of abundance. Like your family doesn't live this type of abundant life, but you're going to. The Hierophant, it's going to become your new norm. Now we have Taurus energy. Maybe you're meant to be a teacher, um, a, a life coach, an educator, uh, someone who creates a new standard, like lives a different way. Um, Take the leap of faith and start this, this new way of doing things, this new lifestyle, this new business, whatever it is. Put your energy into it because there's abundance on the table here for you. Four of Swords, and it's also helping you lead a more balanced schedule, lifestyle. Um, ha um, I also kind of feel like you guys are creating more passive revenue streams or a more relaxed like work environment, home life. Um, maybe even going into entrepreneurship, like I said, Ace of Wands. This idea is going to help give you more time for yourself, for self-care, for maybe taking vacations or just um, pursuing other passion projects. Five of Swords, and not everyone agrees with you on it, okay? Um, maybe even your ego is talking you out of it. Maybe you've been dreaming about this or having dreams about it, um, but it's time to get going. 333 on the timestamp. Seven of Wands. Okay, again, like I said, not everyone's going to agree with you. Boundaries, comment if you've had to set boundaries with some people that have been maybe putting this idea down, this change that you've been going through. It's almost like people don't recognize you anymore because your vibration has risen, beloved. All right, Ten of Cups. Yeah, maybe setting some boundaries with family, um, but also setting boundaries with your time so you can bring this creation into life. Again, this business, this change, this new version of you. The moon, it could have something to do, you could be setting boundaries with a mother figure um, or maybe um, your role as a mother, like allocating more time for yourself. Six of swords, um, doing something you're afraid of doing and it's for your family. Doing something in a different way, you know it's right, you know it's in alignment for you, but you're scared to do it because it's just... It's like going into the unknown, right? But you know that you have to do this because you're not happy where you are. Or you weren't happy where you were. Okay, so what is this big change, this business, this, what? It, what is it? Put it in the comments. Page of Cups. Yeah, you've been sitting on this, on this idea for a while because spirit is like, here it is. Empress, more mother energy, mother archetype or divine feminine, the world. 
Put it on social media, put it out there. If it's a book, a podcast, a business, a, something where you tie in your journey to be of service to others and the world, it's meant to be seen by a lot of people, but it's closing a lot of chapters and cycles for you. It's like bringing your journey full circle to be of service to others. Okay, this idea is not going away. It's gonna keep gnawing at you. Keep an, Your spirit guides are just gonna be like, hello, like do it. We're gonna keep telling you. Why? Because you fucking deserve it. You came here to embrace what you deserve, beloved. All right, you got this. I believe in you, believe me. I was so scared when I started my business. Um, I was so scared when I left my ex-fiance when I found out I was getting cheated on. Like I was so scared to move here to North Carolina just from New Jersey when my whole life was in New Jersey. Just because my intuition, my spirit guides were like, get your ass to North Carolina. You're going to have a beautiful new life there. I had no idea. I had never been here before. And I promise you, beloved, I know it's scary, but take the leap of faith. Spirit believes in you. I believe in you. And I, you believe in you in your core. I know you do. Comment, I do believe in myself. Put it in the comments. All right? I love you. I hope you enjoyed this reading.